Alice no son de Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, I am Sentina. On this channel, I do lifestyle and business tips. If you like contents like that, ensure that you hit that subscribe button. Join the family, it's totally free of cost. I do not charge anything for my content over here. So ensure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. This is gonna be our bougie babe family, okay? So in this vlog, you're gonna be seeing a week in the life, well, a couple days in the life, but it's pretty eventful. I do hope that you guys enjoy watching the video. This is me rambling right now, so enough of me rambling, let's dive right into the video. So today is the first day I'm just starting my vlog. So it is currently Friday. I don't know where this spot came from, and I just realized it's there while I'm vlogging. That's crazy. So like there's a spot right here and then there's another spot here. I think it's probably from the laser because it wasn't always there. As I mentioned laser, I am about to go on the road. I'm going to be getting my laser treatment done. This is the second session. If y'all didn't watch my previous vlog, ensure that you scroll a little bit down. You will be seeing my first laser session. So this is now the follow-up. But I've realized the hair, really hair reduction because I've realized that the hair stopped coming up as fast as it used to. My biggest concern right now is these spots. I don't know where... I don't know where these are coming from. I've been consistent with my skincare routine, but what I realized, I've been in the sun a lot with all the deliveries that I do. <sighs> Speaking of deliveries, like guys, tell me why I just had an order confirmed, right? From yesterday. Customer paid on the website, right? Sent her screenshot of the payment and everything. Now today, I was checking so I could package the order and stuff only to realize the item has already been sold the item was not updated on the website like this is such a bummer i am so mad at myself i would have gotten two orders when i have to reimburse her her funds and i have another order my biggest ick are customers that want to purchase an item and they are like oh i don't know my size can you take multiple sizes in different dresses or whatever so i can try them on like Y'all know that I don't have the facilities so that you can do try-ons, right? Like, come on. So I'm literally gonna have to bring multiple dresses so that she can try them on. Like, I definitely need to get a physical store. I've been thinking about it. Like, it doesn't make any sense somewhat being that I am back and forth. Because, so, uh, moment like this, I don't want to toss with the customer. Because, of course, I want the order. But then again, like... Why are you making it so hard for me? Come on! I wanted to leave up from 9.30 because what I really wanted to do was to stop by the post office. I want to check to see if there's a letter for me for my YouTube channel from It Has Been Monetized. Almost a month. A month now, I haven't gotten the pin that I need to have it monetized. So I'm going to have to stop by the post office grab that and then my laser appointment was scheduled for 11 30. i should have already left over but being that i won't be going to the nursery location for the drop off as i mentioned when i have to refund the customer i am gonna just go straight i'm gonna try to drop off the package first after i go to the post office and then i'm gonna do the laser i'm gonna take my tripod with me this time like i took it out so i don't forget it like i hate to vlog in public but what i realized is i need the content and in, in order for me to get the content i need to get out of my comfort zone so i'm going to start walking with my tripod so i don't have to be bothering anybody to video me or you know matthew will not be coming with me 
sadly so hence the tripod but i won't be leaving it okay it's 9 55 a.m i have made breakfast or anything like that i probably just have some cereal i'm gonna be showing you all my fit it's something simple like i really don't have much tops i wanted something covered but i don't have much tops they're like cropped so i have this kind of cute top but it's a little open and revealing <laughs> needs to update my closet but i'm gonna show y'all the full fit i have this white cute top this is from sheen i've gotten this like a long time ago this is probably still on the side and then i'm in this fashion over jeans pants with this top i wanted something a little bit more reserved like a jeans that's just full no rip or anything i don't have much jeans without rip i only have like one and it's not so cute so i'm gonna be wearing this with my sandal and then that's just some of the entire fit so i'm about to leave out just now so let's go i decided to change my outfit it was not giving classy so this is what i'm wearing so the same jeans different top and i kind of button it unequally so it could give me that you know if they look normally i would tuck it in but i'm gonna just leave it as is i probably I will because i know a lot of person gonna be fast and be like why are clothes look like that oh yeah it looks so much better i don't know why the lighting is changing see i don't know why but it looks so much better i'm about to leave out just now so see y'all later on Yeah, you already see you mean? I don't think I need to know where the site is. Yeah. I'm complete order. Alright. Alright, you can go ahead now. It's going to be automatic once you proceed. Dad, don't have a protein in the phone? No. Okay, guys, so we got the sale. Currently headed to do the laser. Guys, in times like this, you like get a car. Like, one want to go 500 dollars car? God, no. guys so i just got back off the road it's after 1 p.m i really wanted to be back home by 12 30 
today drain me i've been having so many icks on the road today like what is happening to jamaica walk one so i got a laser done and then i got to do the drop off and stuff i'm i'm very much concerned about the spots because i have been plucking the hair on my chin a lot so i've been having hair grown here bumps here <laughs> that thing i was having it and it was like right here so it started on this side of my face it it left a lot of spots on this side this side of my face is not so bad i'm trying to get rid of the dark spot that's on this side of my face i don't know i've been working religiously to get clear skin and it's actually working that went well and then i went to the post office but I still haven't gotten the letter from YouTube with the pin that I need to get the channel so that I can start getting paid from YouTube because without that pin I'm not gonna get the funds that are actually on the account and she was saying that it might be at the post office which is here which wouldn't be like a general post office just for the community didn't get to stop there the sun was too hot so I think I'm gonna just stop there on Monday or I don't know I, I might stop some other time but not today if you're in Montego Bay, you'll probably realize that majority of the ABMs are not working. There are five ABMs and only two is working. So you can deposit or withdraw. So some just withdraw and some some of them you can deposit the money. I'm like, what the hell is happening? Like, now is the time where you should be showing your customers that, hey, even though there have been claims that NCB is robbing people right stealing customers' money. And no, I should not have the ABM in my work. Like, I've been in the line for so long. Then when I went in the line to deposit the money, there were persons that didn't get through saying so, you know, they had to form another line to go into this one ABM. So it's just one ABM that has been working. Like, tell me now. Tell me how that makes sense. But now because I'm on too much because we need to work with them. I have so much ideas in terms of collaboration. I'm going to get a collaboration with NCB very soon. Look up, right? Like, I don't like to talk about things before it's done. But let's look up for that one there. My mama is still enough. I'm about to finish my book. I'm gonna wash up my face and stuff and then like last night I stayed up really late trying to finish chapter three. Sadly I'm at chapter three and there are like twelve chapters. So I hopefully I want to get at least three two to three chapters done today. So let's see how that's gonna work. Nothing tried, nothing done. It's a beautiful day. Thank you. At least not so another the board of here. So much better, I'm not sweating. Save my little skin. You're gonna put this over the egg? Oh, um, never. A win is a win. Currently going to the Nut Spread Express location. I was already at my spread, might as well come over here and look. So, yeah, people, we do have a pure one. 
so obviously they have already cleaned up for you know service but this is the after effect the sidewalk shift all the way down here mm -mm. that's a that night eat here tonight cucumbers pumpkin and planting for porridge a hundred got some kale it's a hundred dollars each lastly banana when you're having use hey guys so it's later on in the evening i know you're hearing the wedding coffee i think those are frogs that you guys are hearing but i just finished my hair so i did my hair for a while now by myself so i'm gonna be saving on maintenance and while i want to always do my nails and maybe my lashes maybe but i always want to get my nails done like that is a non-negotiable for me on a monthly basis so while i'm going to be doing that like i'm not really going anywhere and i know that i can do my hair plus i want to tap into my content creation bag the whole wig making i'm doing hair makeup all that good stuff that is going to be tea for this year so i'm going to be tapping into that so this is my first install for the year. I told myself that I want to do my hair entirely for this year. Only like for styles that I know that I cannot do. So I'm going to be doing my makeup. I'm going to be going on the road. Tonight is movie night. We should have already went to the movies for Valentine's. But Matthew got sick so we had to put it off. It is now Saturday so I'm going to be dressing up in my Valentine's suit. Yep. I also got a little gift. We weren't really exchanging any gift. I'm gonna be adding a clip somewhere in this vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing my makeup and stuff and hurry up and get ready. Like guys, it's super hot in here. I want to do like a get ready with me while I'm talking, but I don't know how well that is gonna go. So I have my little fan that it's gonna be odd. I know it's gonna be the background as well. So anyhow, I'm not talking, just know that there's gonna be a voiceover. If you hear the voice over, just no say. We can't do the makeup and talk. We just need to focus. Okay? Yeah. The cost of living in Jamaica is getting ridiculous. Like, you saw what we got. And that was $4,500. That did not include it any meat. And we haven't been to the supermarket. Like, I remember going to the market and spending $2,000 minimum. And that could have gotten me a lot of stuff. What's happening now? So luckily, we don't have to get certain stuff at the market. Because otherwise, otherwise, I don't know how we'd survive here. Guys, I have to be so focused when I'm doing my, my eyebrows because I'm not perfect. It's crazy. Like, I don't know how people actually survive with kids. I don't have any kids and I am so fearful. Like, what if it was a case where I had a family to feed? Oh my God. So for my primer, I'm using the NYX primer it's very silk and it's soft on my skin i love to do this after i do my brows after which i apply my nars foundation it matches my skin perfectly i really love it i'm not a makeup pro however i just dab it into my skin and also on my neck area guys i love the fact that i get to do what i want in jamaica when i want but when it comes to the cost of living and then you're not getting paid how you're supposed to, that's the part that I hate the most. I love America for the opportunities that it has, but I hate the food. Like when I'm there and I purchase stuff, I hate the fact that everything is just fake. Like you're buying an apple, you have to think what exactly did they put on it. Like everything there grows so fast too. And not to mention the chicken, they don't know if you're eating fake chicken or real chicken. And the fact that they're actually getting it approved by the FDA is crazy. So when I say I love Jamaica, like every time people be like, oh, why you keep coming back? Why you never enough, girl? Nothing in there, Jamaica. I just can't. Like I've thought about it so many times. And we don't know why we keep coming back. We love miracle. Yeah, if it's a case where I can find the opportunities here. And the money that I will be getting in America, I can meet that here. I, I am totally fine, like, if we're being honest. 
like this. This is the only concealer I use. So I'm applying the concealers on areas of my face that I want to be highlighted and a little goes a long way after which I just dabbed it into my skin. Okay, this movie is at 9 o'clock and I think it's my alarm didn't go off so it's at 9 o'clock. But I was hoping to leave home by 9 because we live close by. If we leave by 9 it probably reach like 10 minutes after. I already know what I'm wearing. I'm just going to wear a red top along with my jeans and that should do it. So I like to blend the concealer as best as possible after which I go into contour, normally use a stick and then I trace it with my Black Radiance palette as y'all can clearly see right here. So I just go over it slightly from my nose. After I'm through, I just slightly press my translucent powder onto my face. Wherever I applied the concealer, that's where I added the powder. Since I have very oily skin so that it actually keeps the foundation and the concealer on my face. I also like to apply some on my brows as well because that area tends to get really oily. Guys, remember I don't know what I'm doing. I know my face looks like a mess. But I'm in a rush and I'm going and I'm going to contour. First of all, I don't know if I'm going to be posting this on my social platforms. I'm also filming a TikTok video because I normally have imposter syndrome when I'm vlogging, when I'm dressing up. I always feel out of place. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you guys can actually do it, but I always feel like I don't belong. You know what I'm saying? It's a very weird feeling. I'm working on that and I feel that has to do with how you feel as a person if you're confident in your skin and all of that stuff. So it's a work in progress. They say you must get up and post consistently and be yourself. I'm never going to try to be somebody that I am not. That my innate. And I can't even picture myself being or acting like somebody else. Like, for that I go. So I'm basically going in with my brush, my blushes and my contours and apply some form of texture on my face so that it doesn't look like one color from the foundation and then I applied my lipsticks and these are also from NYX. These are all drugstore products, they're really affordable so I'm putting my girlies on. Okay, so not my feel rushing like... <laughs> we missed the best part of the movie, the start, and the noise start. People, it's good to be early. Didn't get to take any from my video or anything. The movie was a success. Ja! That's the four eyes. Going at the gas station. And then we're gonna head home. Hey guys, so I'm just back off the road, but let's just pretend like I am just going out, right? I was really late, like 30 minutes late. <laughs> we got there like, but the movie started, it was like 15 minutes from the start time, which was 9.20. But it was a good watch. I loved the movie. Cha! Rastafar, I. <laughs> I love the whole musical element that they added to it and it was a very great production actually. A lot of persons were complaining stating that oh they wanted Jamaicans to be in it or whatever. If I wasn't Jamaican I would think that the actors were actually Jamaican. They performed really well. I definitely enjoyed the movie. It was like a 9 out of 10 for me. 
probably I just give it nine because I went late. Overall, it was really good and I've learned so much. I never used to follow up on the whole Bob Marley story, but I have learned a lot. All the songs that he sang, they actually had a meaning to it and how he literally brought the two parties, JLP and PNP, together. Um, I think he was in 1980. Yeah, in 1980. So, you know, the whole Siaga. You know what? I'm not really going to so not even going to act like me know. But I remember that scene specifically where he brought both ministers that were running for different parties, JLP, PNP, and he brought them together. And I actually love that part, the fact that it's no election time. It's a great reminder for us because most persons are always fighting and saying, Oh, if you're not seeing JLP, they won't shoot you or kill you or whatever. If you're not seeing pain P, they won't do this to you or whatever. No, it's a very great reminder. So, hoping for a successful election. Like, I really don't think that the government is doing much. I'm not into politics a lot. So, this is my two cents. I just really hope that we can actually unite as a country and stop being so bad men and bias the whole crime and people that kill people like all of this need to stop so i don't think that there's gonna be a better world or a better jamaica because the bible did do until we say in the last days men hearts are gonna be reckless like they're gonna be doing some stuff that are unimaginable and we have been seeing so many sad stories of how persons are dying, being missing, and how families are being evil towards each other. Like, there is so much more to come. There's a lot more to come that we are going to be expecting. Like, no matter how we try, if we don't turn and change from bad ways, God, no, we heal the nation. So, yeah, I don't want to turn this into a whole churchy thing. <laughs> But that's my two cents. Let's talk about the makeup. After two hours plus, you girl, put it down. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And like the contouring now, gone in the so hot, but it'll go on. And that's that. So I wanted to touch base with you guys in terms of my channel. There are so many instances where I feel like my content is not the best like i might put out my best foot forward like you always hear people saying oh post the content show for yourself and be genuine do you and i'm doing that but most of the time i get so consumed because when i watch other influencers i'm like why can't my content be like this why am i doing why am i not doing this and the fact that it's not aesthetically pleasing as well sometimes i get really depressed and annoyed and I have to like get out of that mindset like why are you trying to compare Santina so it's really hard when you are starting from nothing but I am really grateful for my subscribers and my little YouTube family my tiktokers instagrammers <laughs> I don't know I appreciate y'all a lot so I don't really have much to say in this vlog. It might be a short one. However, I am going to be uploading this video tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. And I already edited majority of that video already. So I am very proud. So tomorrow I shouldn't be rushing trying to read, trying to upload before 7 p.m. Like I should be able to schedule the video so that you guys can watch it early. But let's see how early we're gonna have it up, okay? Can't wait to see how early that will be. I really do hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. I really enjoyed editing this time. Like I don't normally like editing at all, but this one I actually love it. I need to come up with a name for you guys. I'm tired of being like people and y'all. That is just so general. I was thinking bougie babes from bougie fits. Well, I don't know if like hey bougie babes yeah that's what we're gonna work with so this typically sums up my little vlog so thank you guys so much for watching before i go ensure that you guys follow me on all my social platforms on my personal page is scientins underscore period that's for instagram my tiktok is scientins period as well and y'all know my business page 876 bougie fits on both tiktok and instagram so 
I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, see y'all in the next video. Bye, lovelies. No, bye, bougie babes. <laughs>